welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Becca. Thank you for stopping by. Today I am gonna show you a few bits that I've got from ASOS recently and it's kind of a designer inspired haul, especially as we've had London Fashion Week recently. Um, there's been some gorgeous things on the catwalk, but some of that stuff kind of doesn't really fit into my budget. So I've been on a little search on ASOS and some other sites, but I wanted to kind of keep it on one website. So these are a few designer inspired bits that I picked up on my most recent ASOS shop. I'm gonna start with what I think is the best item in the haul, or at least it's my favorite. And it is this Alexander Wang inspired little jacket. It's a faux leather or pleather snake skin. It's kind of like a little cropped jacket. It's got these kind of tortoiseshell buttons, which I thought looked really, really nice. It's a really good dupe for the Alexander Wang one. This was 65 pounds, and I think it would look really good in the day just with a white t-shirt and maybe black jeans or, or even all black and then this on top just to add kind of a pop of colour or a pop of detail. Since buying this, I have seen on ASOS, they've got a similar version of this that is cheaper, so I will show you that as well. I haven't bought it, but I'll show you it over the top of this. So I know I just said that the jacket was my favourite, but I've realised that I'm actually a complete liar. <laughs> That's my second favourite. My absolute favourite has to be these Louis Vuitton inspired boots. These are like the um, the Star Trail boots. I am obsessed with these. Literally wearing these with anything and everything. I don't even care if they go at the minute. Like I just want to wear them so much. I love them. They are so comfy, you wouldn't believe. And they just look gorgeous. They're such a good dupe. I actually can't believe how good they are. They also come with a set of white laces, which I feel like I will try out. I hadn't, I didn't really plan to do that. I didn't know they came with the boots. I've been looking online and I really like how that looks as well. So I will give it a try. But yeah, these are just, oh, look at them. Absolutely amazing. The only problem that I have found is that they did get a little scuff here. I don't know if you can see that and the tiny one here as well. That did happen like literally the first time I wore them and I was kind of gutted when I got home, but I expected it would happen. They are super patent and you know, that does happen to this kind of shiny leather. These were really inexpensive. They were 40 pounds, which I think for such a good dupe, a boot that's so comfy, so versatile, and it feels really well made, that's well worth the money. So the next designer inspired piece is this lovely little dress that is, I think it's inspired by um, Marge. The Marge one is more like, it's, it's not dissimilar to this, it's more like an animal print cross the polka dot, I don't know how to explain it. It's so similar to this, and I thought this was gorgeous. This was um, £32, so a little bit more expensive. To be honest, I was kind of hoping when I was looking at how, like my receipt, because I couldn't quite remember, I was hoping it would say 25 because that would make more sense to me. So yeah, I would say it's a little bit expensive for what it is. I did get the petite, because I am quite short. It's got this high, lovely little high neck. It's got the lovely fluted kind of bell sleeves and a little tie around the waist. I feel like it hangs really well, which is always a bit more flattering, especially if you want to go out to eat or something and then these really really pretty edges and I always think a little detail like that finishes the piece off and it just makes it look a little bit nicer a little bit of a finishing touch I've got more snake skin <laughs> obviously I'm an addict right now this is a snake skin skirt and it's another piece that's inspired by Marge I do like this skirt it doesn't fit me how I want it to so I won't be keeping it purely because it's just a little bit tight around my butt I really love how it looks and I just kind of, I might try the larger size. So I got an eight, which is my normal size, um, but yeah, I might size up to a 10 and then it might fit my ass in. <laughs> so this was, hang on, I feel like it was cheaper. I feel like it was a good price. Yeah, this was 20 pounds, so I think that's a really good price. It does feel really well made. I think it's a really good dupe as well doesn't have to be kind of too wintry. I think you could easily wear this in the summer if you were going out with like a white cami. That would look really nice actually. A white cami and black heels. So yeah, really versatile. So I like it, but I'm just gonna have to get the bigger size. So 
The next piece, you will 100% have seen this on the site or at least on Instagram or something because it's inspired by the Gucci belt. Lots of people have that and then lots of people had this as well. My mum's got this. I think my sister has this or she's got a very similar version. So the Gucci inspired circles belt. Now what I really like about this is that it's not just Gucci inspired. I feel like the crossover is almost Chanel inspired as well, or it, it lends itself that way. I love this belt, I wear it all the time. I've had it for a while, but I wanted to include it in this haul because it is still on the site. It's kind of a more timeless piece because the other pieces in this are a little bit more fashion-y or on, on trend rather than being kind of investment pieces, which is why I wanted to show you them in the first place. And yeah, it just brings things together and it's only 12 pounds, so really good value total bargain and it was an ideal buy. So this next piece I'm actually really excited to show you because it's not inspired by a particular designer but it is inspired by a particular trend that I have seen on the catwalk and in all the fashion magazines and fashion websites and whatever. It's kind of a little bit like a House of CB top I've seen, it's also like a Dolce & Gabbana top I've seen. I've seen a few pieces that looked a little bit like this, so this was one that I really was pleased to find because it was quite cheap as well. Puff mesh sleeve corset body. <laughs> Not a mouthful there at all. It's a nice thick material here on the main body. It's got a good amount of stretch so it fits to your body, but it's thick enough that it's not going to show every lump and bump. The sleeves are really nice because I didn't want something that was too puffy because I was thinking about the bell sleeve trend from last year and it just annoyed me all the time trying to fit my sleeves into coats. <laughs> I always felt like my arms were like, like this, like all stuck. There's also this lovely kind of velvet detail down the front on the corseting section. Um, obviously it's not like a proper corset or anything, but I just thought that was a really cute detail. It's almost a little bit piratey, but like a sexy pirate, but not one of those cheap sexy pirates. Oh my god, where am I going with that? <laughs> okay. Um, and I got this in a size eight, my normal size, and it was 20 pounds, I think. You don't need to size up or down, it's true to size, and it's lovely. Just got a couple of accessories now to show you, just to finish off the haul, but they're really good, so stick around. This one is a scarf or a headscarf, and I thought it was really quite fendy. I thought it was very timeless, quite versatile, so it can be added to any kind of outfit, or you could tie it around your handbag. I know a lot of people like to do that. I like to do that every now and then, and Headscarves are meant to be a really big thing this year and I always mean to wear them. I wear them on holiday and I love how they look but I just never never wear them at home. I don't know why, I just don't think to do it. So, you know, I wanted to kind of start doing that and I really need to figure out how to do my hair and rubbish at it. It's actually much bigger than I thought but that's really good. Lovely neutral colours and I feel like it will just go with loads of things. And that was 14 pounds. I don't feel like it feels super cheap or super expensive or anything like that. I think it's reasonable quality for the price, but yeah, I wouldn't pay any more than 14 pounds. It wouldn't be a proper designer inspired haul if I didn't buy anything that was Chanel inspired. So I have this really, really cute little bag. It's not identical to anything from Chanel, but it's very similar and it's so in the style of, I love anything that's kind of tweed or boucle and this has got some lovely little shimmers running through it. And I love the little edging. To me, that's just so perfect. It's so modern Chanel as well. Like, I love the modern spin on it. The colors will go over anything. They are two of my favorite colors as well. So it's black with these little burgundy streaks running through fit everything I need in there and more and I'm kind of liking the smaller bags because I keep getting a bad back like from carrying one like that. It feels really high quality actually although it's from ASOS it's from New Look so I'm actually really impressed and this was only $15.99 so a real bargain and yeah it's lovely I love it. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this designer inspired haul and at least seen a few bits that you like. Let me know what your favorite bit was um, in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in my next video.